Welcome, I'm Wes, the sewing machine repair guy. And today we're gonna to be working on a vintage sewing machine on a problem that I've seen on many machines and maybe you've seen too, where it just gets gummed up and sticky and maybe some knobs don't turn the way they should or maybe you can't put it in reverse or maybe it's just not working right and there's some sticky component in there. Well, that uh, oil that's been sitting in there for 20 years or so has become gummy and needs to be cleaned out. So let's get to it. But first, I'd like to ask for your help. So in order to continue to provide great content for you to enjoy, I need your support. And there's a few things that you'll notice in the description below that will help the channel out a lot. So one is Patreon. I could use your help for as little as $3 a month. You can support the channel and we can continue to provide great video content for you. And then we also have Amazon affiliate links where if you buy one of the products using those links, we get a little portion of that money to help out the channel. So I hope you'll help out the channel and enjoy this video. When I go in reverse, you'll notice that press feet come up and then they move down, they move and feed that fabric in reverse. When I have it in forward, they're just coming up and down. They're not moving back and forth. Also, I'm noticing that the drop, the drop isn't working like it should. When you operate the, the drop, that's the feed dog drop so that it'll stop feeding fabric. The feed dogs will actually fall down when you move this over. And what it does is it pulls this little pin out of here and uh, this right here should be moving. And it is like, it's on there hard. So now if this problem is due to old oil that's in there, the heat gun will work magic. And it will be so easy to turn right as soon as it starts getting warmed up. If our problem is due to some mechanical issue, like a burr on the shaft or something wrong, because it does look like it's angled a little bit, which is kind of odd. But um, if it's a mechanical issue, then the heat is not going to make it any better, it may even make it worse. So let's find out.
See, that's getting a lot easier. Sometimes it also helps to just barely get it to move side to side. getting easier because it helps work out whatever's in there also trying to flush you know this oil helps oh look at that see that Moving it side to side really made a difference there. Now we're getting what we want. Now we got this, the spring action is working. And when I let go, it comes down. What that means is when you drop feed dogs, they actually move down. And when you raise them back up, they go right back into position, they don't move. Drop your feed dogs and they go down. Stuck, down, stuck, down. I do have something with an adjustment that goes back in here. I'm just getting some of this loose oil because I put a lot of oil in there. And it's still warm. I want to wait till it cools off to make sure that we're still moving just fine after it's cooled off. Because I have had some of these vintage machines where you think you have it and then once it cools off that old oil hasn't moved out of where it was and it just solidifies right back so you want to work it a good couple times and make sure it's still working after it's cooled off so we'll let that cool off for a minute and then see where we're at Okay, you know, it's still a little bit warm. I'm gonna start putting this back together because I'm pretty confident that we've nailed this one. This piece just limits how far the feed dogs move when they uh, lower. So we will see how that looks. All right, so what you really want to see in this video is this, feed dogs. So when I'm going forward, those feed dogs come up, go back, and then go back down. And depending on my stitch length, they come up and they barely move back and then they go back down. Up, barely move back and go down. All right, so that's a small stitch. This is, this is a large stitch. You definitely see those feed dogs moving. And then if I want to do some darning and I want to do it in place, I drop my feed dogs and they never come up above the needle. Then I'm ready to sew again. Feed dogs come up. There you go. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Yep. What's up? Cool.
I need you to super glue these things in. So these things come off pretty easy. See that yep. square of the diamond? You only want to glue it on the diamond. The diamond turns with this thingy. Oh yeah. And if it is glued onto this thing, then it won't be able to turn and then that will turn. So you're telling me you don't want me to ruin the entire thing? Yeah. Otherwise we'd get you to do it. Man, you chose a cool one. Yeah. And I didn't notice this, but the purple, it shines. It shines like the purple on my phone case. Oh. Because the purple on my phone case is Alright, we just went a little dot on there. Yep. <gasps>